Hello everybody and welcome to experiment number one. Now, as I've been building YouTube and Patreon and my other video channels, uh, I've been thinking of how could I really engage with you and what would be something really cool to see. So, I'm beginning my experiment episodes. I will be posting one every week. I'm also really hoping to get feedback from all of you as to what kind of experiments you'd like me to do. Um, I have the kilns, I have the glass. I do need some ideas, so if you guys are curious as to certain experiments you want me to run, I'm happy to do that. Um, I also have a plan of a few that I'd like to do. And today, uh, we cut a lot of glass here at Molten Works. So all of my blanks that people use in class, whether it be circles or squares, I cut right here in the studio for them to use. And we're left over with a lot of scrap glass that looks like this. So I have tons and tons of pieces like this. I've been thinking of what the heck could I do with them? Otherwise they're just waste. I can break them down and use them for casting. But today, we're gonna see what happens when I stack them on edge like this. And then I will stagger them and then we're gonna fire it up and see what happens. So I'm gonna show you today how to, how to load that and what that's gonna turn out like when I open the kiln up after it's all fired. And then if you'd really like to see the firing schedules that I used, I am posting all of that, uh, the schedules on my Patreon page. Um, this just really helps me uh, create better content and more videos and a lot also allows me to expand my other product lines that I offer for all of you, including Spiral Cane, um, as well as garden stands uh, made by my welder at Molten Works and more. So check those out. Those, those will be at our website, athomeglassfusing.com. Uh, you might also have seen us on Etsy because we do have our product there too. Um, just search Molten Works Glass Studio. Um, now let's get to experimenting. Okay guys, let's begin. Now I am using a Scut GM1414 today. Um, this was actually the first kiln that I ever purchased. Uh, I've had it for 10 years now, and it's run great. Uh, Scut does a great job building kilns. Now, I've laid fiber blanket in the kiln already. That's going to be what we're setting everything on today. I then have my M board. Uh, this is a ceramic fibrous material that's it's solid. Um, it does get brittle after it's fired, but I buy this just from a store. It's actually for insulation. Uh, M board is what it's called though. So I'm gonna use this as my barriers on each side to keep my glass upright. So one on this side, one on that side. I then also am laying down my bullseye thin fire paper. So the reason I do this on top of the blanket is if I don't, it'll really pull the blanket up with it and I'll I won't get to get more than one use out of that blanket. Um, I'm then going to lay this guy here, right on the edge. We'll leave that open for a minute. And then we're gonna get a fire brick and we're gonna just lay that in there as well. So brush it off. All right, so now I'll just start laying them in. I have a whole cart full of them, and I may want to do some cutting as I go. So let's see if I can. So there we are. I'm not gonna dam it on the edges because I'm not going to cast it or go that hot. I'm not sure exactly the temperature I'll go to, but again, I will put all my kiln schedules on Patreon. Just search uh, at home glass fusing and you'll find our Patreon page. So 
All right, next steps. Oh, that looks really cool from the top. Okay, so the last step is just to make sure that these aren't gonna be dammed up properly. And there's enough weight to them that they're not gonna push apart. So I'm just using some kiln shelf uh, pieces. The brick works too. Um, I'm gonna extra brick here. And I think I'm gonna add a little frit in here. That will be the last thing that I decide um, to add. All right, so I've decided to add a little bit of the cobalt blue transparent, the blue topaz transparent, and a venturine blue. Okay, so those are what I'm gonna add into this mix. Let's see how this... Okay, and that will do it. Now let's fire it away and see how our experiment turns out. All right, everybody, we are cold in our kiln and ready to reveal our experiment. So, let's see what we got here. Take away the uh, pieces, make sure it's actually cool or not. Alright. And... Oh. Oh. Look at that! That is pretty freaking cool!